talk about net work, okay? So net work tells me about the change in kinetic energy because if I add up all of these works, they're telling me how is the kinetic energy changing. Positive works bring energy in, negative energy removes, or negative work removes energy from that kinetic energy. So the example here, a gardener slides a three kilogram flat of geranium seedlings at a constant speed two meters across the level table with a coefficient of friction of 0.3. What is the net work done on the flat? Well, the word constant speed in there tells me that there's no change in kinetic energy, which tells me that the net work is zero because net work tells me about the change in kinetic energy. So do I need to find how much work the gardener did, how much work friction did, how much work gravity did, how much work um, the normal force did in order to add those up to get the net work? No, I just need to look for that word constant speed in this case. The next one says a worker applies a force of 40 newtons directed at an angle of 60 degrees above the horizontal to pull a nine kilogram crate 0.5 meters across a floor with a coefficient of friction of 0.1. What is the net work done on the crate? Okay, so now it doesn't use the word constant speed. But I can resolve that force into components like we did before and find out how much work is done. And so it turns out that 100 joules of work is done by our applied force. And friction says does a negative 26 point, what was it, 8 joules of work. Okay. So we have some energy going in, some energy going out, but there's a net amount of energy gained. So we have 100 going in, 26 going out. That means we have an overall gain of 73. So work net is equal to 73.2 joules. Because we have a net gain, that means our kinetic energy is going up, our object is speeding up.